Hello and welcome again. My name is Reverend Warner Bloomfield. It is Monday, August the 10th, and uh, gather once again for a time of scripture and of prayer. And uh, I, I welcome all of you who are able to be with me today, um, either now or later on when you have a chance to uh, to watch this video. Uh, my the uh, passage of scripture I wanted to read today is a portion of Psalm 118. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, the righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And let us pray. Loving God, creator of the world, we come to you in gratitude, naming those things we are grateful, thankful for, for friends and family, for a caring community, for the sunshine and the rain, for having enough food to eat, for shelter. We also take time to confess that not everyone can name these th blessings in their lives. We know there are people in our community who are alone or lack the supports that help us navigate the challenges and hardships life throws at us. We acknowledge that many do not have the resources to be assured enough food or adequate shelter. And we know that, for many, the sunshine or the rain can become treacherous, bringing destructive droughts and floods. Creator God, may we be blessed by your Spirit with the vision and the imagination to recognize the ways that we may be a blessing for those who are suffering, for those lacking support and those struggling to find food and shelter. Help us to recognize how we are connected to the rest of your creation and how we can make a difference in our community and the rest of your world. We pray today for the people of Beirut. We pray for those who are ill and in pain. We pray for those who are alone and lonely and those who are grieving. We pray for the families of those who are sick and those receiving critical medical care. May they experience your peace and your strength, and may they feel your compassion. We pray for those in the healing professions and those working throughout our medical system. May they work with the benefit of your wisdom and your compassion, and may they also find strength in your presence and perform, to perform their jobs with the care and the stamina and the support they need. Help us, O oh God, to see this world as it truly is, and bless us with the vision to see what it may be, and help, help us to recognize how we can be part of your work to bring about that vision of a world of justice, of love, and of compassion. All this we pray in the name of Jesus the Christ, your Son. Amen. I thank you for your time and your attention this, uh, today, and I Hope that you may go on with the rest of your day enjoying what God has provided for us and finding joy and blessing throughout this day and the rest of the week. Until we meet again, God bless. Take care.